It's week 11 of the National Football League. And up next, we'll see Jalen Hurts. He's going to have to air it out plenty this week. It's the Eagles and the Commanders on Thursday night. The city of Philadelphia is one of rich history and passion, and you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners are four of their last six games. But meanwhile, for the visiting commanders, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners are three of their last four. season has hit high gear and off we go in week 11 on EA Sports. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Out come the Eagles for the first time and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. It's hard to be frustrated when you throw for nearly 400 yards, but I know he wanted to break that barrier. I think he got the pain eased a little bit when they named him NFC Offensive Player of the Week, though. <laughs> yeah, when you get the award, you know you had the best week in the conference. You let it slide, but hey, that oh, number well that. within his range. You know he's got the arm to do it in this one. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Here's Hurts to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Throwing his hurts. Complete, it's Dodson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Two yards to go, second down. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. They'll roll him out right. He dumps it off to Barkley. He can only get a yard after all that. It's second down. Hurts. It's Barkley once again bringing in the catch. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45 yard line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Hurts sets up to throw it. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down, counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. The Eagles at 7-2 here on the year. Their head coach, he's got them believing in themselves. They've won seven of their last nine games now. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical? and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there, but they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's what a knockout is. Yeah, it becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. Now, after
after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll wisely just take a knee here, and this ball will come out to the 30-yard line. So the Commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here, and it's the rookie Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately, one touchdown pass, so he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 17 carries, 57 yards. Well, obviously, he didn't have a great deal of time between games, having to turn around on a short week and get ready for Thursday night football. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. Up the middle with Eckler. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Off the play fake, Daniels. That's caught by Senate. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The rookie from LSU leading this offense well. A good throw there leads to a first down. Here's Daniels. On the catch, it's Crowder. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. To the air goes Daniels. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagle 16. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. And Washington with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and 10. Daniels looking to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll score. Touchdown, Commanders. De'Ami Brown, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Commanders are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Those are the touchdowns that aren't just scored on Sundays or on Monday night. Those are the ones that are scored during the week because they had that preparation in a great route run. Oh, I love that observation because you don't just roll out on game day and say, okay, go run this route and let's get it done. That means exactly what you said. The practice had to occur beforehand, which led to the timing, which led to the touchdown. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he continues to show off his ability to run the football when the opportunity is right. He is the NFL leader in rushing yards from the QB right, right, position. Right, right. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. Pass interference, defense. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. 
Ball on the 39. Here's second and a couple. They'll look to throw here. And this one complete to Smith. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They'll look to throw again. Complete. Smith has it. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. From the 47, it's second and five. Back to throw again. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It was Deron Payne who got in there to make the play. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. They'll set up a throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. Call it a gain of six on the play. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 17-yard line. to throw a quick throw but incomplete I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far even backed up late they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete they haven't been able to stop them so far this series but getting a nice little stand from their defense now Again, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And no thought of bringing this one out. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll begin the drive at the 30. Out is their quarterback with his offense to take over once more. He connected on all five of his throws on that opening drive and finished it with a touchdown pass as they begin here first and 10. Now Daniel's going to give it up on the touch pass. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now third down and seven. draw play it's Eckler and he is going to lose yardage here that'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth two minutes remaining in the first half 10-7 our score So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. 
And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes no, out no, on the no. field and says, all right, let's just settle no, for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. So from the 36 now, first and 10. He'll look to throw. This will be incomplete. Oh, a dream chance for a D lineman, but he couldn't pull that one in. Here's second and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. Out left to Dotson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. This will be caught once again by Brown. Now he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Throwing his hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. And yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Hurts. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Great, great, great. Alpha, alpha, alpha. On third down, Barkley. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. on top as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report coach okay Brandon thanks very much welcome in everyone to our EA Sports halftime report let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL in the early window on Sunday one of the best of the best happens up in Pittsburgh a big one for the Steelers as they'll take on the visiting Baltimore Ravens the 4 o'clock games have some intrigue as well, especially up in Buffalo, where it'll be the Bills taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Finally on Monday Night Football, the showdown in the Lone Star State, Texans and Cowboys from AT&T Stadium. The Eagles were led in the first half by their dynamic quarterback, Jalen Hurts. He connected on a touchdown pass in that first half, and that's a big part of why his guys lead at the break. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. This one fielded in the end zone. He'll opt not to bring it out. A touchback, and they'll begin at the 30-yard line. The commander's offense and Jaden Daniels getting set for this next possession. And his ability to use his legs has given the defense fits when trying to game plan. He's currently second in the NFL in rushing yards by a QB. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. It's Eckler again. And they're able to 
Lewis swarming behind the line, and his rough night continues. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. To throw is Daniels. This one caught by Crowder. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Behind the chain, second and 12. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Throwing now is Daniels. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 25-yard line. Motion man is Crowder. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Play action. Now it's Daniels. Forced out. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Now Daniels on the move to his left. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer, at least, if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. Riley Patterson now on for the field goal. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. Patterson's kick is good. And that will cut the lead back down to three at 13 to 10. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley gets by him at the 25. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down. Hurt sets up to throw it. It's caught. Smith only able to gain a couple there at its second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Fourth down now after a loss of two. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Commanders will take over, but backed up deep in their own territory. Off the play fake, Daniels. A quick throw there is incomplete. 
It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. That's caught by Senate. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. The offense on third down tonight. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Working out of the gun, Daniels. Steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Eckler now between the tackles. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and eight. Quick throw out wide, caught by Crowder. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and 10. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. To the air goes Daniels. And that is incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it, it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. And he's been a real threat, not just with the arm, but with the wheels as well. NFL's leader amongst quarterbacks in terms of rushing touchdowns. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They'll look to throw here. Try to find Barkley on the out route, and he's got it. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Back to throw again. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. 
those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. He'll look to throw, rolling to his right. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley, his seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Eagles are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. And that right there is a definition of a statement drive. Here in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line. And here, they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. Elliott now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And the returner down to a knee, and this will come out to the 30-yard line. Now Washington down 20 to 10, a minute 50 to play. Their offense has struggled all night, and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Daniels looking to throw. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. The nice thing is that you've still got all your timeouts in the middle of the field. That should still be an option, especially if you see the defenders pinching the sideline. You can run a little seam route right here and pick up some nice yardage. He's got his target. That's complete. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. As he'll get it with still a minute 20 left to go in the game. Here's Daniels. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Daniels from the gun on third down. Escaping the pressure right. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. A feather in the cap for the defender picking off one of the league's better quarterbacks so far this season and add another feather in the cap for the coaches, too. Excellent game plan and add their guys aware of his ability to roll out and how to defend against it. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The commander is going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. And they'll indeed take a knee. Go, go, go. 
Down to a knee goes Hurts, and that is going to be that. So fly Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over. Right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets pretty cheap from the time you're playing Little League football. down the stretch. So for Philadelphia, they continue to put themselves in position for a first round bye as they move to 8-2. And, and now